Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We're on to our next Blood Bowl video. And if you like the content and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you wish to follow us on other accounts, our Twitter and Instagram is up on the screen. And now that I've got that out of the way, I've got to mention as well, we've got a Teesprings account where we've put a few designs up if you wish to support the channel that way and have some nerd cool gear I'm not going to say cool because it's me at the end of the day and yeah that's it and now I'm going to get into the subject of today which is the worst big guy for a Blood Bowl team so not all teams have them not all teams should have them and some teams have got them really regret having them so let's have a look at three today right first up guys we've got a pick from tier one which is the dwarf death roller right so i can see the reason why somebody told me they didn't like the death roller but before we get into that let's go over the stats movement four strength seven Agility 1, armor value uh, 10, cost 160,000 gold, which is a lot, you know, considering this is a mid price team. That's a lot of money to drop into something. And the skills a break tackle, dirty player, juggernaut, loner, mighty blow, no hand, secret weapon. And the reason I was given was because of the secret weapon. Yeah, you've got Agility 1, which you can, you know, compensate for with Break Tackle. You've got Juggernaut, which, you know, can negate the uh, moves like Fend and all that on the Blitz. Mighty Blow if you're hitting hard, but to me, it's the Movement 4 as well. Movement 4, Secret Weapon. You're not moving very far. All you got to do is dodge away from this thing. And he's always chasing you. And are you willing to give up a blitz on this thing? I don't think so. There's other players that can blitz a hell of a lot better than this thing. So, really, he's a wasted player. And on top of that, secret weapon. And, yeah, we all have our secret weapons when it comes to goblins. But, on a dwarf team that you're already spending a lot of money on for other players, it seems a bit of a waste. Because he's not going to carry the ball, because no hands. And all you've got to do is give up a drive. You know, you might be 1-0 down. That guy's got to fight then to try and argue with the ref and, you know, get that guy back on. And he's waste 160,000 gold for a, a one-touchdown player. Not worth it in my eyes. But am I being unjust? Is he a better player because of break tackle and juggernaut? Is he average or is it just the points cost for his skills? It's, to me, it is a waste on the team. I know they slow move in anyway, but you could put the points into something better. That's my opinion, but what's yours, guys? I'd like to find out. Right then guys, we're on to pick number two, so I hope you all had a bit of a refreshment break. So now we're going into the Orcs slow cousin. That one kid on the block that uh, takes a little while longer to work things out than everyone else. And that is the Troll. So, got to preference it. It is for the, tro for the Orc team that I say he is the worst big guy. For the Goblins, he's an essential player. It's essential to have two of them in my eyes, but I don't want people like uh, Griff and other or um, other Goblin players to come after me for picking on this guy. But I think for the Orc team, he's a bit of a waste, personally. And, that, and same again, let's go over it. Movement 4. Strength 5. Agility 1. Armor value 9. 
He's a bit cheaper than the Death Roller at a hundred thousand gold. His skills are always hungry, loner, mighty blow, really stupid, regeneration, and throw teammate. He is a waste on the Orc team for a couple of reasons in my eyes. Um, he is only he's only as fast as the the black oak blockers but they're the same armor value they got one less strength but they got one more agility so they're a little bit more versatile than the troll the troll is he's a big guy that can hit but you negating some of his skills by not having the the right stuff skill because throw teammate with goblins is an essential if you want to get him down the down the field quick, especially if you've got a Doom Diver. Um, Mighty Blow is always a good one, but really stupid is a killer for most of these big guys. Really stupid, bonehead, uh, wild animal, you know, that skill. So, really, I think Black Oak Blockers are a better are a better fit than the troll and I'm not particularly keen on the black oak blockers but I think they've got more of a place in this team than the troll but I'm only talking as you know a permanent resident of tier 3 with my halflings who would love well we do we do love our big guys because we got uh, we got three men and I'd love my three men but that's a uh, that's not the case for this guy so again i just want to know what's your guys opinion on this do you think i'm being unjust by picking on the troll do you think he's got a place on the orc team or do you agree that it's not worth it unless you're running goblins because i know you could take goblins in the orc team but if you're taking goblins you know the player's going to pick on them first to negate some of this troll so tell me what you guys think Right then guys, we're on to the last pick and was surprised by how many people jumped on this name. It is the Enslaved Minotaur for the Chaos Dwarf team. But they've only said it for the Chaos Dwarf team and it's understandable. For your Chaos Chosen team and for your Renegades, I reckon he's worth the points. But... That's not the topic you'll be talking about. The Chaos Dwarfs in Save Mind at all. So, let's go over the skills. Movement 5, Strength 5, Agility 2, Armor Value 8. And he's 150,000 gold. So, he's a bit better than uh, the Death Roller. His skills are Frenzy, Horns, Loner, Mighty Bloat, Thick Skull and Wild Animal. But, um, he's not bad, but there's a positional that really makes him obsolete, and that is the Bull Centaurs. So, they're 130,000 130, gold, um, they're movement 6, strength 4, agility 2, armor value 9. So, they've got... Plus one movement, they're not as strong, but they've got thicker armour. They've got sprint, sure feet and thick skulls. So they got ex they got that extra movement and they can reroll their gold threats. That's the kind of combination that I like, you know, excluding thick skull on my halfling catchers. And I know how efficient they, they turn when you got those two skills together. But... Um, they're 20,000 20, gold cheaper, and they're a hell of a lot better than our Minotaur on the team. Um, and if you've got him in a league, it's only access to mutations is on a double, while if you've got him for a Chaos Chosen team, his mutations are a normal skill tree, not a double. So... You know, they've taken away some stuff. 
not really giving him anything for his points. Um, which is a shame, really, because he is he is like the clown. He doesn't really have a place because there's another position that like, could do a 10 times better. Yeah, you could argue, by some happenstance, you could get the three on your team. Would you really want to? Because he's a bit slower. He's not. He's not as dependable because of wild animal. You got the loner then. That's going to stop some interaction with the re rolls. While the bull centaurs don't have wild animal and they don't have loner. So to me, they'd be better, and they got access on the normal skill tree to general and strength. So they've got a bit more variety. They can have block, break, tackle, you know, and stuff like that. So I I I see that as a more, even though it's cheaper, it's a more dependable choice. But that's my opinion, and like I said, like I said at the beginning, bad opinions and language to follow. I don't mean so much bad language today, but it's been bad opinions. Because I know they're my opinions. they got to be bad if they're my opinions. So I want to know what you guys think. Again, I've said it for them all. If I'm being unjust, if I'm being wrong, and oh, tell me why I'm wrong. What's your opinion? See if we can add it into like another video further down the road. And, yeah. That's the top three bad big guys in... Blood Bowl as it stands at the moment by Twitter vote. And that's the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I've said before, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, please share this amongst your friends. That would be great help for the channel because it helps us be found in the algorithm. Um, up on the screen now is going to be our Twitter and Instagram. So you keep in contact with us outside of the channel. I think we got an email as well, if you wanted to email any questions in, if you've got any ideas for future titles or anything like that. We have also, I'm trying to think what we've got in the future, we are going to the Sin City event in April, so it was going to be me, your boy Griff, who has appeared on the channel, and another, another player in the NAF scene. We all said we're going to take tier 3 teams and we've entered the Allen Cup. So if you see us there, please say hello. And hopefully, if I can get Griff to agree to it, we're going to show our we're going to show our tournament list and we're going to put the video up and see what happens. But then again, all depends if Alan can get back to us now about what skills we got because that's part of the that's part of the thing where he picks our our skills to be part of the Allen Cup. If you guys want more information on that, please say down below and hopefully I can get more information to you guys and uh, say what's in the tournament. But also, I got a question for you guys. The question is concerning my next video. And I'm going to put it up on Twitter, I'm going to put it up on Instagram as well. What or who is the best star player in Blood Bowl at the moment. So that could be whether it's points cost, uh, actual stats, the skills, not so much on how you how the model looks or if you had to create your own model, just if you've used them either on you know Blood Bowl 2 or if you've used them on the tabletop. What do you think is the best star player in the game at the moment? And I'll do another top three. I'll do another top three video, and this time we'll go on to better subject rather than who's, who's that shit in the game. So uh, that's the end of my video. And yeah, guys, thank you for listening. I'll see you again in another video. Hopefully, I will get to you soon. About I think I'm going to be starting to do more cry videos. Which it might be like discussion topics at, at first. 
but I'll see how it goes with them. At the moment, we're talking Blood Bowl because it is the weekend, and we all like our sports on the weekend, and then we see what happens with the channel from there. So you take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.